at the bottom. <laughs> Farming is not a bad business if people do it as a business. If you do it as a pastime, if you do it as a last resort because you failed to get a job, because you can't do anything else, and because you have nothing to eat, then do farming. And that's different. Peasants throw seeds out there and the crop grows and you have something. That's a no-brainer. Because we are endowed, we are almost lazy. From one hectare, we get one ton of maize. In America, they get 30 tons out of them. In South Africa, they get 15 tons out of one hectare. In Kenya, they get six or seven. In Uganda, we're content with one ton. And today, in the country, we've had an oversupply because the weather was so good, the soils are so good, the price has crashed to 200 shillings a kilo. The government is being called upon to intervene. It shows you how endowed, how gifted we are in this area. But then, let's not abuse it. Let's take advantage of it. Let's have fewer people doing farming, commercial farming. We don't use organic, inorganic fertilizers. We use largely, we largely use no fertilizer. But if we could use lime to stabilize our soils, bring back the balance, the pH, and, we, and we, we use organic manure from cows, from goats, and we put that in, we can treble our yield easily or quadruple our yield easily. And the commercial farmers will give us food security and export. I'm not against farming. It's a very hard business, agriculture, because of the many variables. It's not just six or seven variables. In farming, there are about 45 variables, which many are outside your control, especially if you're doing ordinary farming. You don't have irrigation, then you're dependent on the Lord to give you rain. Those kind of factors. If there's too much wind, your crop will fail. If uh, you're about to harvest, the birds come when you're doing sunflower or doing groundnuts, and the birds or the monkeys or somebody's after your crop. So you have many variables, many are outside your control. So I tell people who want to start a simple business, Trading is the easiest and most profitable business. Begin with buying and selling. You make a simple profit, and your capital is here or there. It's in cash or in goods. You start there. And we need more people in trading. Don't leave it only the few people in Chikubo. Then, if you are keen and feel passionate about agriculture, do it, but do it systematically. If you're growing pineapples or you're growing uh, passion fruit or melons, be organized. Do your homework. Do some research. Then eventually move to have using a greenhouse move to using irrigation. Then you have got sustainable supply, especially because we have these seasons, the dry season, the wet season, and the prices are highest in the dry season. So you've got to see how to do it. But we can't have everybody doing the same thing, producing, harvesting at the same time, and then we have a market crash. So I encourage people, if you're bent on, hell-bent on doing agriculture, do the homework. Otherwise, start with easier things to do. And then that's how we get more people moving up the ladder, having more value.